Hello guys and uh, welcome back to Pure Fiore 1926. Um, we are actually with our beloved Henry, but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to say. I mean, I someone we decorated the house. I understand that they want a reason that they go back to Boulogne, but. I thought that they would just like put the kids to the church in the meantime while they have to investigate. They're not this! Yeah. What the fuck is this? I mean, the Phantom what? was always crazy, but the children? And what the fuck did you do with the children? Look at the house! It, it, it Holy looks... shit! Well, th there was. Three children looks like there have been six murders, but well, yeah. I, 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 Fuck. This is a mess. It's crazy. This is the plot they come up with. My God. Well, they definitely fucked up the house. That's for sure. What Holy the crap. fuck? But they're children. I'm a bit surprised here, but okay. Yeah, Liliana is obviously broken now. Broke record because she says the children must be afraid without us. Uh, yeah. We have to go to them right away. This blood wasn't from the children. Char character. They must be hiding somewhere inside the house. Completely frightened. Perhaps crying. Ca character. Our eyes met and Henry knelt down by my side, touching my lips gently. He wiped my bottom lip clean with his finger and he gave me a handkerchief without a word. Thank you. I told him to He reached out with his clean left hand and helped me to my feet. I kept my mouth covered with the handkerchief as he led me through the room. The floor was slippery where it was red, but there was hardly anywhere else to step. What the fuck? <laughs> I proceeded as carefully as I could to not disturb what had been spilled, whatever it was. Uh, okay. Moving deeper inside the red house. Please, no picture now. My fragile hopes were shattered. Please, I don't want to see a picture. Okay. It's... Uh, uh, yeah, it's me. Yeah, okay. The children were in my room. Oh, we softly closed their eyes, which had been slashed. I make a very shocked face in case... Uh, yeah. After laying a blanket over their bodies, he bent down to the floor and... Picked up a bloody card that was lying there. I picked up a nearby bag, emptying its contents and repacked it with everyday necess necessities. He noticed a box of sweets on his desk, then put it inside the bag as well. It wasn't long before we left the house, leaving behind the children to sleep forever. The fuck? Disturbed. <laughs> Oof. The fuck? She having nightmares. I squeezed my eyes shut, trying to wake up, but the nightmare still wouldn't end. I jolted awake in bed and looked around. I realized I had finally escaped my nightmare, but found myself in an unfamiliar room. It slowly dawned on me that this was reality. Hurry. My body was heavy as I sat up. I called to him weakly from the bed. How long did I sleep? I was sitting at a desk near the bed. It seemed that he was writing something, but he put it aside before approaching me. He knelt down, he knelt down like he used to with the children, 
私は彼女を見つけたのです。彼女は彼女を見つけたのです。彼女は彼女を見つけたのです。彼女は彼女を見つけたのです。彼女は彼女を見つけたのです。彼女は彼女を見つけたのです。彼女は彼女を見つけた
I had never before seen a murder so brutal. The murder of those I loved. That's crazy. What the fuck is going on in this story? I uh, know, but it's really dark. What the fuck? I wanted to scream and cry as loud as my voice would let me. I could barely restrain myself. Yes. This can was restored some men of calm. I rarely laid down on the bed. Or he did not go back to desk, but stayed near the bed, watching me. A strange feeling from before crept over me. In my current state of mind, I couldn't begin to understand why. God, is that disturbing? Mm hmm. She eventually fell asleep. I could see her trying to control her emotions, but her mental state had to reach its limits. Shocking. Yeah. I reached over and, unable to touch her, I gasped in the air above her fingers. My heart ached as I looked upon her tear stained cheeks. I could not be sure of her safety outside. At least if we were entering the house together, she could remain in my side. But what she witnessed left devastating scars. いつか過去の豪が追ってくるだろうと。だが、甘かった。私がブルローネを離れた後も頼めば何でもしてくれるような人間には事欠かなかった。あの小さな家のことも感心させていた。見晴らしのいい町外れの一軒家。だからこそあの家に近づく者がいればすぐに察知できる異常時には適切に対処するよう言い含めていた今になってもその見張り役からの連絡はない家が襲われる前に殺されたのだろう。Holy shit! Okay. Liliana was uh, supposed to be home with them. Her survival was nothing short of a miracle. I was grateful for it uh, beyond words. Oh, you were gone on the rampage. I would have been broken completely, uh, irrevocably, uh, with no chance of ever healing. An unfamiliar emotion strengthened inside of me as uh, I watched her sleep. Protect you no matter what. He said uh, if we needed any help, we should seek out the church. Oh, that's a bad idea. Ah, oh, the little stalker. I almost immediately decided against it. Good. Emilio,の言葉はそれなりに真実味があった。あえて私たちを落とし入れるようなことはしないだろう。だが、教国のすべてが味方とは限らない。敵の懐に飛び込む結果になるかもしれない。Very smart. Very smart. Therefore, there was only one place I could turn. I woke up. I must have been having a bad dream. My heart was pounding. With shaky hands, I moved to sit upright. Ori, I looked around the small room. Huh? There was only one here. 
I heard out of bed, but only stood frozen. Where would I even go? I had no idea where Ori could have disappeared to. I bit my lip with frustration. Ori. I ran over to the door and clung to him. <gasps> she hugs you! Holy shit. I thought I was all alone. Sumanai <sighs> my hand. I was startled back to my senses. I had clung to him desperately and he touched me with tenderness I could hardly believe. He explained before I could even ask. Who is it from? Kyoryukshada. I understand. He spoke to me in a very, very soft way. Kattengitetaitesumanakata.Kimiga one that had persisted since our arrival. Are you pushing yourself too hard? Hmm? Muri dewa nai kana. Anzen no tame ni subeki koto o shiteiru. Tashou no hiro wa aru ga mada kyoyou hai da. And his tone was the same as when we still lived in the house. No, it was even more kind. It was that struck me as strange. Because of what happened to the children. He spoke to them in this very same manner. Even when he kept his distance from them, the care that he showed them was real. He's still calm even after seeing the tragedy that befell them. Oh, he's used to <laughs> murder scenes, I suppose. Oof. Yeah. In fact, he was calm every day that we lived in that house. Are you really okay? You <laughs> Yes. What? Oh, he gave me a somewhat troubled smile. His expression was unmistakably angry. But normally he wouldn't dare say such things. I looked down to hide my distress. We don't have to sleep together, but... If you don't mind, can you hold my hand? Ah, I he kindly accepted and made me feel even more confused, even before stroking my head again. He asked me politely if he could, as though he felt that his hands were dirty, that touching him was something that shouldn't happen. Why? I don't understand what Marie is thinking at all. After watching the Liana fall asleep, I returned to my letter. I didn't know how long it would take via airmail, so I entrusted it to someone I knew. He knows it, Sebastiano. Yeah. I noticed something at the bottom of my bag. A colorful book. Box. A box, yeah. The box of sweets that uh, was on my desk. When I opened it, I found two nearly uh, neatly folded uh, handkerchiefs inside. The embroidery on each of them was simple. Oh. It's a sign. Yeah, the lily of the valley is a very pretty flower. Gift of good luck. <laughs> My fingers tighten around them. 
I was probably the present they wanted to give him the surprise. Mm. The handkerchiefs uh, shook in my trembling hands. Rather than live alone without parents, I thought they would be happier with us, even if they couldn't stay far from the house. I felt that open as I heard on his back rustling. I was looking at something he pulled out, not noticing that I was watching him. That is, there was a small box once used for sweets. I saw something that had been written all over with crayon. To a real dear. <laughs> so That's just horrible. To feel straight. Uh huh. The children made them fuss. They must have poured their hearts into it. The burst of happiness I felt was short-lived, soon replaced by the hollow sadness. The cruel reality of it was crushing. I clenched my jaw to suppress a sob. Just then. The sight of his face in a dim light almost made me gasp. He looks angry. Well. He was holding the handkerchiefs tightly with a cold expression. Dark flames burned in his eyes. It's time for revenge. A look of fury. Ori. I realized that the reason he appeared calm even after losing the children was. He was holding back the rage that threatened to burst out of him at any moment. That was obvious character, but okay. There was no way I could speak up now. If he was trying so hard to hide his grief from me, I couldn't force him to share it. It was up to him what he chose to reveal. Discussing the children would only bring him greater suffering. I shut my eyes and pretended to sleep, even though I knew it would be impossible. Come to think of it. The box wasn't the only thing that he brought from the house. What was written on the card? It was an invitation of the fucking phantom. Yeah. Oh, it's a... I can't read anything. Yeah. Oh. I was too distraught to ask him before. Oh, the boys are back in town. Okay. Meeting too. だって。ベノ君、被害者の共通点を見つけた。殺されたのは全員カジノの元従業員。で、オネフィメールエンプロイーズアテカシノ。カシュマイ。うん、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ
so they know that she pissed off with <laughs> Marie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was too distraught to ask him before. If something had been written on it. There must be something for me. Ori. So, days after we arrived at the inn. What is it? I had been observing Ori carefully since the day I witnessed his rage. Since then, Ori has made sure to stay with me, safe for our one time. When he stepped out late at night, left his belongings in the room, and when he returned, I pretended to still be asleep. I wonder if there's something he doesn't want me to know about. Ori spoke to me in a steady voice. Where are we going? Bururoneni. My hometown? Where I had left my loved ones? Yeah, that's gotta be a comfortable character. There were yeah. moments when I couldn't help but remember it, but I didn't think we would ever return. He stared at me silently. Are you hiding something? Oh yeah. I had a bad feeling about this. It seemed Ori was hiding something very important for me. Why Berlin? You better not ditch me, Ori. I hate when people do that, okay? Don't just like. This is the church, have fun. Bye! Oof. Please, Ori, don't be like that. Am I holding you back? Is that why you're leaving me in Berlin? My voice was shaking. Or he maintained his composure as he spoke. You think Bologna is a safe place? <laughs> I was to argue against it when... A sudden memory resurfaced. Someone once told me that the safest place in Bologna was next to him. <laughs> That's the thing you think of right now! A oh, Gilbert! <laughs> Come on! You can't be looking for help from the Bologna Mafia. They were the only ones who could secure safety for either of us. No one else had the power. The church? It was a dangerous gamble to take. I remember that Emilio said they weren't as angry as we thought they were. Can we really take him at his word? If we, if you return, they won't let you go free. That was how the mafia was. I'd spent all my life there and had seen enough evidence of it. Don't Of course you have your Capricorn. <laughs> Capricorn always has a plan. <laughs> we nearly have burst at the same time, okay? Just a day apart. Just oh, some yeah. hours apart. What plan? I would need much more convincing than that. Don't just like you. What do you mean? After a slight hesitation, I searched my face as though uh, to gauge my emotional state. Yes. I want to know everything. Please tell me, Ori. I look back at him without hesitation. I want to know. He could have done it without slaying the children, though. He could have kidnapped her or something. Why did the children yeah. have to die, riders? Seeing that I was beginning to panic, Ori quickly spoke in the same steady voice. Sasoyo 
私を呼ぶために蒸気を逸した行動に出るだろう。あの家で起こったことのように。My mind showed me the house soaked in blood. No, please. It was difficult to recall any happiness we may have had there. Every memory was stained red. Misirano Ningen no Giseo Saketai Nadoto, what does she knew Shikakua Nainga? Sorry, Demo. Are no Omo Mamani Koto, Hakoba Serno, Kikenda Nangyori. Sigini Nerawale Kano Sega Takaino. I felt something in his gaze, a hint of fear. Her! Me? Ah, Osoroku. Muko no Moktekina Watashinara. Watashino Sobani eat a kiminga. Dariori kikinina. So, what are you delivering me to Gilbert like a present? That's a bad idea. Here, Gilbert, you take care of her. No. His eyes were still sunken from the ordeal, but they seemed to be full of conviction. I noticed something in the way he spoke about the possible suspect. Do you know who it was? Who left that card in the house? In that case, I need to ask once and for all. As dangerous as the Berlin Mafia was, I could not see them doing anything this horrific. However, they still had a reason to come after us, and they could kill us if they wanted to. Whoever took the children, do you think they were with the mafia? No care, don't know. No. Ori looked down with some regret, but his voice was neither angry nor sad. Karera no koroshi kata dewa nai yo. Thank goodness. I was relieved by his answer, though I still harbored doubts about returning. I can't click anything. If the mafia had it in their minds to do the same to Henri, letter. Do you think he sent it to Gilbert, Dante? Dante, okay. To Dante. Dante, 次の会合のことだけど、どうしたの？ Maybe he wants the Fazzoni to look after her. The key maid, after all. Maybe. 手紙が届いた。Okay, now I'm excited. Hmm, I handle, I handle the content the, to Nicola. Handle. Oh. There were several sheets of paper and a blood-stained card. Suzuki wa Bruno. Vincent no hoi ni me o toshite kure. Omae no ikken ga kikitai. Shoujiki. No shit. He looked over it with a deep sign. If the mother had it in their minds to do the same to Ori, was she still a functioning key? Yeah. Yeah. I needed to stop it from happening. I couldn't allow another tragedy to happen. Okay, and I took the train from France back to Italy. The journey was uneventful, and we approached Boulogne without anyone in pursuit of us. The woods. There was only one road leading into town. We abandoned the car on the outskirts and walked into the forest on foot. After a while, I noticed something. Hmm, this looks familiar. This place is. Watashi tachi ga Boulogne o deta toki ni tsukatta. Are we going through it? Do you think the other end is still blocked off by the rubber? This passage we connected to the casino. But the casino burned down that day. No problem. I'll ask you to get the service. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. But who would? I didn't talk to you much about it. Maybe it's because I 
He's a master manipulator. He is. There must still be people who were drawn to him in some way. Then the telegram that you received at the hotel was from. あの家で暮らしている間にも I was surprised to find that he had completed his work early that day. If he was only picking up another report on Boulogne, that would explain it. Ah, oh, good memories. We dis not. We descended the stone steps together. It's when he told her from his sad past. It was sad. The path looked the same as I remembered. Ego. He took his hand and we went deep into the underground passageway. This feels a little strange. We were using oh. a secret passage to return to Boulogne, the same one we used to escape it. After Henri and the Heron escape the burning casino, Henri thinks about what happened as he travels through an underground passageway. Oh my god, the fuel strain. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm ready for the fuel strain. Our footsteps echo through the passage. I was astonished by the weight of my regret. And yet, I still stopped midway. I was conscious uh, that we had uh, that we were holding hands. She held my hand timidly at first, but now her grip was stronger, as she uh, would not let go. However, she told me otherwise. Despite my uh, reservations, uh, I held hers. I held her. Oh. Still good picture. She could have become ill from the cold and her fatigue, perhaps even lost her life. I clung to the excuse that I had no, uh, no choice. We spent time sitting together to rest. She asked me questions and I answered them. No, because it is. I thought, uh, no, it's oh, fair. Yeah. if it doesn't say it, I thought before that you probably lived alone all your life. I thought you hated the Mafia because of all the suffering you went through. But I couldn't have been more wrong. I wasn't even close to understanding how much you have suffered. I'm so sorry, Ori. She cried while I, while apologizing to me. Kimi wa nani mo waruku nai no ni. I had no right to tell her so, nor dry the tears she spilled. ただ伝えたかった。君のためにも理解してもらいたかっただけだ。私に生きる価値などない。見捨てるべきなのだと。I survived by cutting off my emotions, but seeing her cry uh, awakened pain in my heart. If my past made Leah sad, she could uh, block it from her mind and forget all about it. Uh, about it uh, all, yeah. What's that meaning? <laughs> I was assailed by my own thoughts uh, as we traveled down the seemingly endless passage. When the entrance was blocked by the rubble, I was uh, unable to support her as she fell. Because I had hesitated in uh, reaching out to her. Fretakunakatakara 
Despite that, after we rested and set off again, I offered my hand to her. Only did the uh, I only did so because she, her unsteady gain uh, was uh, worrisome. Okay. Hmm. My own pathetic excuse was laughable. I could no longer resist the thought. For her best interest as well as my own. A sense of relief swept over my heart. The tears she has shed for me seem to dull even the most painful memories of the past. For a little while longer until the path ends. I hope I could uh, continue to hold her hand. We walk through darkness towards the light. We are using a secret passageway to return to Boulogne, the same one we used to escape in. What she did was sad. <laughs> <coughs> he led me through it in a similar way, even though he said it was painful to touch anyone. While we lived in France, there were a few times when he pulled away from me. I felt impelled to confirm something with him. Henri? Are you sure you're okay with this? Mm -hmm. He looked down at our hands as though the thought had just occurred to him. But he said nothing more on the subject and continued on with me by his side. カジノの残骸は今もまだ撤去されずに残っているらしい。通路の入り口はがれきで隠されている。見ただけではそれとわからないように細工してもらった。実際は少し押せば動くようになっている。それと君も覚えていると思うが。Marie, who had been explaining things matter of factly, looked over with a slight smile. Kono Tsuro Nagai. Tochu de Kyukeo Torkara. Scareta Tokiwa, Endio Sesing Itoshi. He finds an excuse to hold her again. <laughs> Sweet. Oh. I will. Thank you, Henri. We walked on with only the sounds of our footsteps echoing through the passageway. Of course, they don't give me this moment. It was half a day's walk, but we stopped along the way to take breaks from time to time. We finally reached the end after nearly a day. Holy shit. Oh. We moved the rubber aside and emerged inside the casino. Yes, I'll be fine. What will we do now? Just as he was about to respond. Yeah. ひさしぶりだね。二人とも。ストーカーキッド。うん。さんさんに<笑> Negotiation. Okay. Then I guess we stop here. Oh. If it's already second. No, well, probably a good spot. <sighs> My god, this is heavy. This is dark. Crazy. But, um. Yeah. Sad. Yeah. Very sad. I wonder what uh, he wrote to Dante if the Fortuna is gonna take her in or the Sconti or something. Oh, they're probably gonna take her in. It's Henry that I'm more concerned about. Yeah, she she's still good key. Just um, well, she ditched them after all. <laughs> she's still a pretty lady. It doesn't matter. No, still, <laughs> she was like, well, sucks to be you guys. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> so. Hey. I wonder if they reprimand her for it or something. No. 
Are they like wondering what the fuck? Because mm. I mean, honeymoon. I don't wouldn't. I wouldn't describe it as honeymoon. No. Well, thank you guys for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye. Yep. Bye bye.